for the keys. What is good boys, welcome back to another video with your boy. If you guys are new here, my name is Chris and we are building my Mark 7 GTI here on the channel. We go fast and have a good time, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna do this intro really fast for two reasons. One, the camera's almost dead and we gotta plug it in, in the car. And two, I kind of blue balled you guys on the last video up there. If you guys didn't see that, we installed the uh, Deutsch Auto Holy Shift. And now we're gonna go try it out. Let's do it. I gotta get the keys. Volkswagen. <laughs> if you'll remember, we unhooked the battery, so uh, I'm gonna have to let it run for like five minutes before we take off, get everything acclimated. We'll do a little bit of regular driving, and then we'll get into the ripping. Oh my! Sitting in the mud like a champ. I didn't do you dirty. I have not driven this since I installed it. I've been working for three days, so this is this is a real reaction. <laughs> I'll have a. GoPro on the head for POV, but I'll also have this on the dash, so we'll get all the good angles. <laughs> it's so sketchy. We just have to fly backwards. Your boy's got the buzzed hair now, looking fresh. In this video, we're gonna determine, uh, we kinda know the answer, obviously. Should you, or is it worth it, to purchase the Holy Shift Kit? Is it that much better? Is it that good? Is it gonna change your shifting experience in your Mark 7 GTI? <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I literally just jumped out of the pickup and just immediately jumped into here, so. All right, let's go. First shift, very crispy. Oh, it's very clicky. It's very notchy. The best way I could describe it from the last video was that it's not plasticky feeling. Like, you can tell that the linkage ends and shit like that are all plastic before because it felt like it. Oh, oh my God, it's so notchy. It feels like a new trance. Oh, it's so... Oh, yo. No way, there's an M behind us, an M boy? Oh, what are the odds this guy gets on the highway? Am I gonna get you guys some action right off the rip? Oh no, he's going to Duncan, damn it! He flew right up on me too. Ah, oh well. Shift. Shift. Having a head cam on in like public is the funniest thing on planet Earth. Oh God, this is so sick. Why is it so good? It's just so direct. Ah, oh, baby! Gotta clear those brakes off. It, it just really feels like a different transmission, to be honest with you. That's wild. Such a simple change makes such a big difference. I'll do it. Excuse me. Just gotta get through here. Sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, I can't see shite. Did you guys see how much the third we just spun? Why was that so crazy? Jesus. Oh, I just stopped filming at the dumbest time. That chick literally just lost a whole skid plate. It just flew off and went flying in the wind. Oh, I stopped filming at the dumbest times. Like, honestly, though, like, just look at this. Not only was it notchy, it was also easy. I mean, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. Oh, ready? I'll even sell you even farther. 
the tip of my pinky. What's wild to me is that we're only we're running like 28 pounds right now so it's probably holding like what 26 steady maybe imagine you know when we ramp things up a little bit and we get into the 30s we fix our whole fueling situation turbo situation get into the 30s on like that i don't think you could get much more power than that with the front wheel drive platform like golf r's are a whole different thing but I think anything past that's just gonna be honestly useless and like it kind of takes away from the drivability like it'll have the fun factor but I don't think it's gonna have the put it down factor even oh, this is a terrible choice this car really ceases to amaze me I'm not even gonna lie to you oh it's just a little bit of everything it's got the noise it's got the lights, it's got the power. Hey, he's about it, he waved. <laughs> Ugh. Just the noises alone. Now it's got the feel. Every time I do something like this to this car, just like re, it re hooks me in, you know? What is up, young fellow Queechee Vermont bike rider? Trying to come get the gas? This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so fun. Alrighty, bros. Uh, the last video was super long and drawn out, so I like to, you know, keep it in the middle, so I'll keep this one kind of short. I am gonna head back home because we got dinner plans and stuff, and I'm trying to, I was trying to quickly fit this in, and I think we have succeeded with proving the point that if you were on the fence for some reason or other about not buying this, you guys kind of know I'm not somebody who just, like, pumps shit up and fluffs it up because they're like, hey, please try this. If it wasn't good, I'd be like, ah, you know, it's not the best, there's other options. And that sums up this video. Just keep driving, keep it real. Your boy will catch you in the next one. I'm out. Yeah. Peace. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off.